you be you a slave. You hit me with that spear, motherfucker. Mark. Slay that goddamn mother. You brain something. Slay that goddamn mother. Hey, you, you, you fuck so fucking in my face. You fuck with your bitch. Hey, 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 hey. Stop. There you go. There you go. I got one. Stop. Stop. There you go. There you go. Stop. There you go. Stop. 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 Get back in bed. No, fuck that! Get back I'm a real cop. You can call a real cop up here now. I know. No, I'm not doing no movie. You call a goddamn real cop up here now. You're gonna, you're gonna oh, hurt yourself. You're gonna hurt yourself with name like that. Put your legs back up. Yeah. You need to call me a real cop, officer. I'm still with every goddamn one of y'all. But we can do whatever you want, but just lay down in the bed like, like you're supposed to. No, I'm not gonna lay down. I ain't fuck no. The hell is that now when I got to do guy just fucking jump on you? I don't want your little bed to flip over on top of you, so can you lay down the way you... Fuck that! Fuck that! You get better? No, I ain't got hit no better! Well, God damn, you just see what fucking head? All right. If you want you to relax, we're going to help you, help you relax, okay? All right. We're here to help you. No, you ain't. No. Fuck no, you ain't. I don't know. I don't think it will. It's heavy. Is kicking? No, he's just he swung that goddamn computer in my fucking head and I come up out of the goddamn bed. I know, but you can be swinging and kicking to the people. No, I'm swinging down in the goddamn bed. I walked in and you were kicking, so. Yeah, when I don't hear you goddamn hit me, you fucking right. You got a phone in your hand, hey? Well, can, can I call 911? Because I have the right to. I've been fucking assaulted already, so I can call 911. You can call, I will go there, I will see you again. I'm 911. No, you ain't 911. How are you 911? Whatever, I had just had an officer fucking assault me. They did not have the right to fucking hit me with their ball fist. With your nine goddamn report masses. Um, basically, this press conference was called because uh, we have a deputy sheriff who's been suspended uh, pending a criminal investigation. Um, the investigation has been complete by our department, and we sent the case up to the state attorney. Uh, Ms. Worrell is, is aware, and um, she received a packet on her desk. <clears throat> um, it's potentially a crime committed by a deputy. This crime is a misdemeanor battery case. Um, on May 6th, um, I was advised of an incident at Advent Health, the hospital involving one of my deputies. Um, the allegations made that Deputy Dario Sinclair uh, struck a patient. A suspect slash patient. Um, the patient had one arm handcuffed to the bed, and um, he was under arrest for violating a domestic violence injunction. You know, upon receiving this information um, regarding the behavior of this deputy, we relieved him of his duty and um, took his gun and badge and started the investigation. Um, one of the detectives in the criminal investigation unit. Um, we assigned, I'm sorry, a detective from the criminal investigative unit to investigate Deputy Sinclair for the criminal charges. Um, as a part of the investigation, we interviewed people at the hospital, staff, law enforcement officers who were on scene. Um, we collected video footage from the incident and we'll be providing you with a copy of that before leaving today or as soon as we can get it for you. Um, the video is basically gonna be an altercation between a deputy and the individual, um, we think it's a mental health crisis. When, when you know we're, we're looking into that, and um, I guess he stand, he uh, attempted to stand up, pull on the rail. He was handcuffed too, and the deputy was ordering him to lay back down. Um, and then they just start arguing, and that's where the the altercation between both of them began. If you guys like to have an uh, ask any questions. He's been here for about two years. No.
Yes, we're trying to get all that together to give you guys a copy of it and send it out. Um, you know, when I saw the video, you know, it looks like uh, two individuals in crisis, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, since I took office, I promised transparency. And we're all, always going to hold our deputies to a higher standard. And uh, um, what happened between the two of them, you know, definitely it's clear on video that uh, this needed to be investigated and send it up to the state attorney's office. Well, you know, that deputy definitely loses some control. Um, they begin to argue, and, and they're kind of at the same level. It's just not normal behavior, you know. Um, that's early on. I, I talked about uh, our deputies, you know, also experience mental health crisis. And um, this could be a good example of, of something that may have gotten out of hand and went in that direction. Um, so, you know, what we do is we'll send it up to the state attorney so they can, uh, you know, take it and investigate it from there and see if they're going to actually charge him with the battery. Si quiere, yo le hago las, eh, te contesto a ti. Tú me puedes hacer todas las preguntas en español cuando terminemos. Gracias. No, our deputy did not. He's been here a little over two years. Um, no disciplinary history. Yes, he doesn't have any priors. Typically, you know, sometimes when you have a person who he, he was arrested for the uh, domestic violence injunction, but obviously there's other issues going on with him. As you can see, he's jumping on the bed, and they need to control him to get him uh, restrained and sedated, so the hospital can do what they need to do to check him out. Well, we take him to the hospital. You know, we don't have a mental health ward here at the sheriff's department. So whenever we some, see someone and we identify a person that's potentially in crisis, even if they are under arrest, uh, we try to get them the help they need 